jinsi mbavyo serikali imekubali utumizi wa mahindi ya GMO wakisema kuwa uamuzi huo ulialikishwa na haukuwahusishwa uh, hawakuhusishwa katika uamuzi huo wakizungumza na wanahabari kaunti ya Bungoma mwenyekiti wa baraza hilo Kenneth Lusaka na gavana Wilba Otichilo walisema pendekezo hilo la Wizara ya Kilimo kuagiza mahindi ya GMO nchini inaweka wakulima nchini katika njia panda wakati wa kuyauza mahindi walioyavuna hebu natupate taarifa hiyo We note with concern the unfortunate decision and proposal by the Ministry of Trade and Industrialization to import and avail to Kenyan market GMO maize. This puts our Kenyan farmers at a disadvantaged position as they will not be able to sell their maize at a price commensurate to their production cost. Further, the discussion of importation of GMO was premature as a report on the maize balance sheet by the Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development projects, uh, projects a maize surplus of 19.1 million bucks by end of December 2022. This is as a result of the 16 million 90 kg bucks to be harvested from the 2022 long rains crops in South, South Rift, North Rift, Nyanza and parts of Western counties and 1.5 million bucks import from the East African community region by the private sector. The Council proposes a meeting with the Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Trade and Industrialization to discuss this matter to ensure our farmers are well compensated for their yields. Additionally, we urge the national government through the National Cereals and Produce Board to make available resources to purchase all maize held by farmers before any importation is granted. We note that the uprooting of eight boabab trees in Kilifi County goes against our national targets to increase the forest and tree cover, especially in coastal and dryland areas.